Welcome to short and crisp algo trade training from Market Secrets. If you are interested in learning end to end algo trading, use the link in the description to join our ATP program. In this episode, we are going to learn how to pull the detailed trade report for a specific order ID. So that's what we are going to see today. In the last episode, we have learned how to pull the entire trade book or trade report. So in this episode, we can use that code as the base and to build our code further. So I am just going to, uh, you know, uh, copy and paste the same thing, and I'm going to, you know, rename this variable uh, trade report detailed view. Okay, detailed view. So that's what we are going to see here. So I'm just, uh, you know, printing the same. So what we need to do is like we need to uh, give the order ID here. So if you want to know the trade report, a detailed trade report for any specific order, so you need to give the order ID and it should be in double quotes. So where do we get the order ID? You can go to the, you know, um, application and maybe you can uh, click on, uh, you know, the order details and you can copy the order number. Okay. So I'm just copying and pasting it here and I'm running it now. So uh, first it will print the uh, entire trade book list of all the trades that got triggered today and followed by that we'll get to see a detailed trade uh, report for the specific order. Okay. So detailed trade report for the specific order ID we'll get to see. So I'm just copying uh, the response and I'm just pasting it here. So uh, let's close this. So if you look at here right. Uh, so the first response response was uh, whatever we saw in the earlier episode. So we see all the three trades that got triggered to one Zimoto and two idea trades. But if you look at here, this is a, uh, you know, detailed trade report of one specific order. Okay. So which is, uh, you know, seven triple two. So for this particular order, we got a detailed report. So what is a detailed report? You know, if you place an order, it goes to n number of stages. It's not, uh, you know, directly get executed. For example, right. The moment I place the order, what happened? Um, you know, it got, uh, you know, the status of new F. So that's a new trade, you know, that is how it was recognized. Okay. Once, uh, you know, uh, the broker validates that particular order, right? They'll send it to exchange. So that is when you get the exchange ID. Earlier, the exchange ID was not there, right? So here, uh, once the broker validates whether you have the enough money, whether the trade is not invalid trade, like, you know, some wrong price data or above upper circuit limit or lower circuit limit, those are validations will be done by the broker itself. And after after that, if the order seems to be valid, it will be sent to your exchange, and that is when you get the status as open status. Okay, so that is the second stage for the same order. Okay, so stage one was you know an NUWF, uh, new F, uh, so that's the first stage, and now it went to the open status. And now, uh, once uh, you know there is an uh, filling, I mean, if the price matches uh, whatever that uh, you have bid, right? So in that case, your order will get executed, and at that stage, it will be changed to traded status. So TRAD will be your uh, order status. This is when your order gets fulfilled. So these are, you know, three different status it went through. Likewise, right, uh, it might go to some additional status also. For example, right, if you modify it, right, so it will again, uh, uh, you know, go through edit state and then it will do uh, validation all over once again. Because even when you edit, right, uh, you know, broker will validate whether the trade is right. So it will go to, you know, another um, stage like, for example, edit state and then it again Again, comes back to open state in that case right it will become five different um, you know uh, you might get to see five different uh, positions for that particular trade likewise right if you edit it again it might uh, you know again get uh, you know two or three more entries so that is how this detailed uh, trade book will look like so you know if you want to you know go into the details and see you know uh, how that uh, trade uh, got executed in detail then you need to look at the order book uh, I don't think most of the bro brokers provide this particular view, but Kotak is providing this particular view. So if you want to learn more about how your order gets processed, you can, you know, dig more into this particular API and get to see it. And even you can even see it from the UI. Actually, if you go to the Kotak UI, right, if you expand uh, every trade, you will be able to see it. Uh, you won't see it in this application. You need to, uh, you know, log into TradeSmart, uh, you know, uh, browser. So if you look at here, right, so there's a, you know, TradeSmart terminal, right. If you log into this particular one, 
then you will get to see these details i mean uh, the you know fine tuned version of your orders in the ui itself so that brings us to the end of today's episode uh, i hope you would have understand the difference between you know uh, getting the trade book and also you know uh, getting the detailed uh, trade report for a specific order id if you have any queries leave it down in the comment section also hit the like share and subscribe buttons if you find this video useful thank you